Mac Voices is supported by Smile, the makers of world-class software like Text Expander. Find out about all their great utilities at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at CES in Las Vegas. Folks, this might be the first interview I've ever done about a YouTube channel specifically. The YouTube channel is called Beauty in the Bolt, and this is Zyla from Beauty in the Bolt, and we're going to talk about it. And I think this is really important. We've talked plenty here on Mac Voices with App Camp for Girls about the need to get more women and girls involved in tech and a little less intimidated by tech, and that's part of Beauty in the Bolt's mission. Zyla, thank you so much for seeing us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So tell us about Beauty in the Bolt and what it is. Absolutely. So we are an online education platform that's really designed to lower the barrier of entry that a lot of girls and young women face when they're trying to get involved in engineering and in maker spaces. So we put out um, YouTube videos on how to use machine shop tools, how to solder, how to build cool projects and they're all taught by women. Um, but one of our key focuses is trying to show that femininity and engineering aren't mutually exclusive. That just because you wear fierce eyeliner and awesome lipstick doesn't mean your robot is gonna be any less amazing than it would be if you weren't. And I feel like a lot of particularly middle school girls are being told that they have to choose. They're either gonna be really good at math and science or they're gonna be pretty. And um, that's just such a, an incorrect statement that we should be we should be teaching our, our daughters. Yeah, absolutely. I, and it, it, it never makes much sense to me because half the population of the of the world is women. That means we're ra wasting half of our resource. Exactly, and it's also when women are involved in the design process, you're probably missing key aspects of how to design things for everybody. Um, I mean, th and you see this with minorities all the time. I think there's that viral video many of you may have seen of the soap dispenser, where the um, a white person is putting their hand under and they get soap, and then an African American per person puts their hand under and they don't get soap because um, the sensor was never really tested on darker skin. Um, and you, you see that over and over again in um, engineering as well. For example, there were no female crash test dummies until like just a couple years ago. And that's insane to think about. 50% of drivers are women. Um, just because the engineers that were working on it unfortunately weren't meant that cars were so much less safe for half the population. And that's totally unacceptable. Well, I love this idea simply because here, I mean, YouTube is available to everyone. Yes. So whether it's in school or you know at 11 p.m. hiding under a cover somewhere, a girl can you know watch this and get comfortable with using the kind of tools that, sorry, the rest of us are already comfortable using. Right, right. And one of the big things that frustrates me is like nobody raises, very few people raise their daughter the way they raise their sons. Typically, like we don't, like my parents never gave me Legos or um, you know things like. I was in like in the basement working on projects. I was, you know, upstairs trying to like learn how to be a really good daughter, um, and that's absolutely like not the fault of my parents, but I think society as a whole. So what we try to do with these videos is make them really fun and approachable. They're not like, all right, kids, this is PV like equals NRT. Memorize that. It's stuff. It's joking and it's fun and it's carefree and it's really in the style of typical YouTube videos. It just happens to be engineering and it happens to be really really cool in my opinion, at least. <laughs> So now, we, these are not like welding courses. Right. So, so what's the typical length of a video? Um, each video it ranges from three minutes to ten minutes. We very rarely go over ten minutes and never go over fifteen. Um, but it, it depends on the project. So, like, if it's something simple like how to use a hand drill, you know, that's a sub five minute video. You have a couple things. If it's how to make a project like the lights behind you. Um, that's a slightly longer video because there's more moving parts. So it really depends, but um, we really try to pull all of the unnecessary stuff out of it so that it's as concise as possible. Now, this is all a very admirable goal, but at the end of the day, you have to pay some bills. Yes. So how, do you, how does um, Beauty and the Bolt make money to fund this operation? Yeah, so luckily I have a real job outside of this. Um, so it doesn't need to pay me, it just needs to cover its own cost. And we do that, we sell t-shirts, um, we have the Brilliant is Beautiful campaign and our Princesses with Power Tools campaign and so I'll go around the country dressed as um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast teaching kids to use power tools. Um, but also we have kits available so we'll sell bulk orders of kits to maker spaces and each kit has a, a goal of like one or two tools that we want to get a student comfortable with. So for example, our Starlight kit, our Constellation kit is our hand drill kit and it forces um, the student to use each function of the hand drill multiple times so that when they go use their own 
when they go to do their own projects, they're really comfortable with that tool and they're not, the intimidation isn't going to affect their work. So um, we'll, we'll ship those in bulk to makerspaces to, to, for them to sell on site. Okay. And what kind of pricing is there for these kits? Uh, yeah, so I mean, our cheapest kit is our LED like um, glowing acrylic kit, and that one's only five dollars retail. So we'll sell it. It depends, obviously, on how many a makerspace buys. Um, our starlight kits we usually recommend ten to twelve dollars uh, retail, and then our most expensive kit right now is the yarn lamps kit, just because that comes with like the light bulb and the yarn, and um, the mostly the electric cord is the most expensive part. And that one usually goes for 20 to 25. But really, we try to keep them as afford affordable as possible. Like my goal is not to make a lot of money off Beauty and the Bolt. It's to provide an education platform that I wish I had when I was in middle school. Because when I was in middle school, I tried so hard to just fit in and be pretty and be like that girl that everyone told me I should be. And as a result, I let my love of engineering completely fall away. And I missed out on all those years of learning that I could have been. And so now you're still pretty, but now you're in, in in, in Eureka Park, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of crazy geeks, yeah. and and where and, I belong, and, where and, I belong, <laughs> and, and advocating your position—that's that's terrific. Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, it stemmed out of—I was always like, the only girl on my robotics teams, um, and I was really tired of walking into the circuits lab and everyone being like, "Zella, how come you're always dressed like a princess?" And I was like, "I'm not dressed like a princess. I'm just wearing a dress." There's a di there's a difference. Um, so really, just trying to show that like there's there's more faces of engineers than the ones you think of typically. Amen. Um, obviously, it's a YouTube channel, but do you have a website as well? We do indeed. We are beautyinthebolt.com or youtube.com slash beautyinthebolt. And you can find us on Instagram and Twitter as Beauty and the Bolt as well. Thank you so much for the time. Congratulations. Great idea. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Folks, we'll have more from CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.